As Greece teeters towards bankruptcy, there's violent resistance to more cuts. This is a country where the economy is gasping for breath. In central Athens, workers fled as tear gas filled the air. The government needs to foist further austerity measures on a disillusioned public. If it's to avoid going bust next month. It is a scenario which is frightening leaders across the continent, as it could bring down the single currency. The stench of tear gas here on the streets of Athens is really quite overpowering. They've been fighting with the police now for the past hour or so, throwing rocks and also petrol bombs as well. Now, inside the parliament, there is a debate about to take place about the austerity package. But here, they're speaking a very different language indeed. This is the vocabulary of some workers now, arming themselves with missiles to protect their pay and pensions. Greece does not look like a country where the government is in control. This 48-hour strike has closed ports, hospitals and schools. And despite one bailout, the economy is going in reverse, contracting at more than 4% a year. Workers say more cuts are not the answer. If you don't give money to the people to keep the economy going, the economy will die. They still stole everything uh, from Greek people and from Greek uh, country. We worked very hard all those years, and from our, the surplus value we have produced from our work, they filled all those things and they've gained a lot. And when they say they, they mean the capitalists. This, it is their crisis, it is their problem, and they should solve it. In Syntagma Square, a tent village has grown out of people's frustration. Michael is one of the many young Greeks struggling to find work. Can you imagine the last two years very hard for everybody, for everyone here. I'm a counter and the last year I'm working like a taxi driver because I don't have job now. The vote on the austerity package will decide Greece's future. Without the reforms, the loans from the International Monetary Fund and the EU will be stopped. But these images will do their own damage, reinforcing the impression that Greece and its leaders have no chance of containing this crisis. Alex Rossi, Sky News, Athens. voting even started, this was the furious reaction outside Parliament. The fighting could be a metaphor for the financial crisis and the cuts, which protesters claim are slowly choking the Greek economy and nation. You can see what they are doing to us when they are fighting to the people. They throwing stones to, this, to me. Where I take a stone and I don't be dead. The violence was unrelenting, with demonstrators lobbing rocks and petrol bombs as they tried to storm parliaments. Well, they've been fighting on the streets of Athens now for the past hour or so. The vote is about to take place, but the smell of steer gas, tear gas <coughs> is really quite overpowering. These people say they will resist any austerity package until the end. It gives the government, even if it passes the bill, a major problem in terms of implementing the reforms. Many peaceful demonstrators struggled in the toxic atmosphere. Tens of thousands had turned up to urge the MPs not to pass the austerity bill. But inside the Parliament, their protest wasn't heard, and the package of cuts went through. 138 voted no and five abstained. Thus the bill has been approved by the majority. It is the murder of uh, Greek people and of young Greek people. 
Already the country has had one bailout. The question for many is, why will a second work when the first has already failed? I will give a metaphor. So, we have cancer, okay, and they say we're going to die now. If we take the medicine we prescribe, we are going to die in three months. So, is this a dilemma? To die now or to die in three months? I think that uh, it's a dead end, the solution that they're giving us now. Greece has promised reforms in the past and failed. And with a majority of Greeks against the cuts, resistance is likely to strengthen.